I ain't cheap, but I can't be had. My minimum price for taking a stranded woman to a telephone is $400. Will you take 375 in traveler's checks? American Express? Of course. Not a deal. Good. first question. Yes, yeah, so that was a clip of Romancing the Stone, and it's the 40th anniversary wow. uh, this year, and um, it was a surprise hit with Kathleen Turner, and you guys had great chemistry. Now... Also, The War of the Roses. But, yeah. Well, The War of the Roses, yeah, I even know more, but yeah. was it true that you weren't actually going to star in the film originally? That I was going to star in it. That you weren't going to star in it. Well, I, it wasn't that I wasn't going to. It was that I was not approved by the studios. Oh. You remember, I did a television series, The Streets of San Francisco, yes. oh, she's, right? Yeah, then I produced awesome. Cuckoo's Nest as, as a film, get an Oscar. So I'm an Oscar-winning producer, but as an actor, I can't make guy. the transition uh. from television into feature films. So I offered it to Jack Nicholson and to Burt Reynolds, and finally, just by declining, they finally said, well, how about me? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that's that's how it started. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, your old friend Danny DeVito has claimed that he saved your life after a <laughs> snake bite while you were on set. <laughs> And he had to suck the venom out because that's what real friends do. He's never Is that how anything you anything out of me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Is that how you remember it? No, that's not how I remember. I remember being in the car because another uh, actor, Zach Norman, who was with Daddy's sort of partner, was, had just come down from New York. Zach was a New York cat. You'd never get out of the city. And I was sitting in the car and I was sort of showing off to him and I had the animal trainers come over and I grabbed the snake out of the bag and I was talking to him in the car and oh. all the snake was and it oh, bit me no. on the arm. Oh my God. And I took it off and you know, there's the little imprints where the, where the thing yes, was. And, 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 and Zach just looked at me, he just got off the plane from New York. And he's going, I said, it's okay, it's not a bleed. He says, you're bleeding, man. This yeah. is, it's not poisonous. What do you mean it's not poisonous? You got a bite there. And, it was, and Danny was in the car laughing the whole way. <laughs> Oh, he didn't suck it out. He didn't suck it out. He didn't get I'll close to you. But, yeah. uh, you know what, Michael? If you had Listen. poured a little limoncello in it, he <laughs> might have sucked <laughs> it out. Remember when he was promoting his limoncello? He, yes. he came on this show. Oh, show. So yeah. hung, oh, I'm so yeah. hungover. <laughs> so much limoncello to drink last night. One of the great night. moments on, this, <laughs> on The View was Danny. Can we talk about your dad for a second? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. His dad, as you probably already know, Kurt yeah. Douglas, who starred in movies like Spartacus 2, that was leaving something to see just so many. So he passed in 2020 at 103. Wow. Wow. He left you all of his leather-bound scripts. Yeah. <clears throat> when you had the opportunity to sort of sit with them, what happened? Well, in those days, you know, I mean, now, as you know, they just keep sending you copies of rewrites and rewrites. But in those days, I remember when I started, you had your script and you wrote your notes right. in that script. Right. And so, you know, to go through these different movies from Lust for Life, when he played Van Gogh to Spartacus and all of that, and, oh, to, wow. and to see his notes and everything was, uh, was, a, it was a very special moment. And... Of course, a lot of times that was an age when I was so young and I missed my father, him doing these pictures. Mm -hmm. But now when you get there yourself yeah. and you can look back and see what he's done. Mm -hmm. uh, he was an extraordinary man, just extraordinary, incredible stamina. And uh, we, as a child, you know, but they didn't see him, we probably had a little more distance, but mm -hmm. certainly later in our life became very, very close. And, and, and in his passing, I just admire him. So much for what yeah. he's accomplished. Was it difficult to have dinner with Spartacus? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he had... He had uh, but he, I loved that. He said, what, what line he had, you know, if, uh, if I knew how successful Michael was going to be, I would have been nicer to him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ever going to reprint the, the piece he did in the booklet? Do you remember that booklet? He did a wonderful... I think it was a letter. Was it a letter or... He loved you. Well, I, I know that him. we both saw you when you first were on Broadway. Yeah. Stand up. I yeah. know, because I do saw they know him in the audience. Mm -hmm. Did you? you? Oh, yeah. Do they, does your audience know what a great stand up comedian you are? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, huh? 
They might know, they might not, but they know how brilliant you are. Oh. Yes. And that is, that is the purpose. Our thanks to Michael Douglas. Franklin is streaming on Apple, Plus, Apple TV Plus, and a new episode is dropping every Friday. So make sure you see it, if, if for no other reason, to see him dressed in those tights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's worthwhile.